Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So this is the time of the year again, my PS4 collection for 2019. Let's get a start. We want to start with Call of Duty. The first one is the Ghosts. I actually played the game on PC before, it's alright. But I have no desire to play it on PS4 again. Next we have Advanced Warfare Gold Edition. This is the only Call of Duty game I gotta play now on PS4. It's not a bad game. Follow that, we have Black Ops 3 Gold Edition. I don't think I will get a Black Ops 4 since there's no single player campaign. After that, Infinity Warfare. This is the one that do not even release Gold Edition. We also have World War 2 Gold Edition. Finally, Modern Warfare Remastered. I should be looking on PC before. But since this is a classic game, I wouldn't mind to play the game on PS4. Next, we have Battlefield 1 Revolution. This is the only Battlefield game in my collection. Overall, it's a pretty decent game. We also have NAC 1 and 2. I still do not get a chance to play 2 yet. Next few games are from Naughty Dog. The first one is The Last of Us Remastered. I should own a digital copy, that's why this one is still sealed. Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection. And we also have both Uncharted 4 and The Lost Legacy. I actually played on both games, but I still need to work on the DLC, which is kind of annoying. I really don't like it. Next, we have Hollow Neighbor, and it's pretty cool. Hide and Seek. Here we have Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2 Gold Edition. I play this one on PC, but I wouldn't mind to play the game on PS4 once I have time. And for Watch Dogs 2, I 100% the game already. Next, let's check Assassin's Creed. So we have Ezio Collection, which includes three games. Chronicles also includes three games. A Syndicate, Limited Edition. I also have the Jack the Reaper DLC. Finally, Odyssey. I also buy the Season Pass, which includes Assassin's Creed 3 Remaster and Liberation. Next, let's check Far Cry series. So Far Cry 4, Complete Edition, Far Cry Primal, Far Cry 5. I also have the Season Pass, which includes Far Cry 3 Remastered. And finally, New Dawn. This is actually the only one I still do not play yet. Next, we want to go over my Yakuza collection. The first one is Yakuza 0. We also have Kiwami and Kiwami 2. Both are still book edition. And finally, Yakuza 6. Next will be my Resident Evil collection. So we have 4, 5, 6, and finally 7 Gold Edition. Next we have Gravity Rush Remaster and Gravity Rush 2. 100% both game with all the trophies. Next we have Dungeons 2 and 3, and this one is the Extremely Evil Edition. Couple Strange Shooting Game, Gale Gun Double Piece, and Gale Gun 2. I should play now this one. Couple Tomb Raider Game, so this is the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. I should play now this one on PS3. We also have Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebration. Next, we have Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. I actually like this game a lot. Titanfall 2 Deluxe Edition is a very underrated game. Elkheim Scum. This game is horrible and I actually play on it. Dead Alliance Day 1 Edition. Now let's check some of the sports titles I have in my collection. My only FIFA game, FIFA 16. Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition, which includes all the DLC and uh, the Golf Club Collector's Edition. Probably one of the worst Collector's Edition on PS4 since it only gives you a ebook. We also have 3D Billiards, uh, the game I just picked up in the end of June. My favorite sports title, MLB The Show. I have 15, 17, and uh, 18. I actually play now all three of them. Mark McMorris Infinite Air. NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Uh, the game will be better if they do not include microtransactions. 
Next, we have Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Scarlet. So this is actually the first PS4 game I imported, and obviously this is a sports title. We also have A2 Glory. We have a couple of Middle Earth games, Shadow of Moto, Game of the Year Edition, and Shadow of War, Gold Edition, which includes a Season Pass and a Steel Book. Next, we have Dark Souls 3 Complete Edition. I'm kind of regret buying this one because they actually released a collection that includes all three games together. But I'm not really good in this type of game, so I highly doubt I will buy that one. Another similar game, Lords of the Fallen Complete Edition. And we also have The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition. Couple One Piece. Pirate Warriors 3 and uh, Burning Blood. Hack and Slash type game, Aslan the Warrior of Legend. I really don't like this one. Also, Samurai Warriors Spirit of Sonata. Next, we want to check my Dragon Quest collection. So, we have Dragon Quest 11, it's a JRPG. And if you don't like this kind of turn-based RPG, you can also choose Dragon Quest Heroes. We have both 1 and 2 here. They are hack and slash type game. We also have Dragon Quest Builders. Diablo 3 Internal Collection, which includes all Diablo 3 content. Vikings Wolves of Midgard Special Edition. And the Torment Day 1 Edition. Couple Wolf Stamp, The New Order, and The Old Blood. And no, I will not get a Wolf Stamp too. We also have a similar game, Doom. And if you don't know yet, Season Pass is actually free. This is a very fun game. I actually play now again. Also got all the DLC trophies. For the next few games, there are low scan stuff exclusive titles. I actually made a video on May Special Talk about those games. So in today's video, I am just going to quickly go over them. And if you want to know more, you can go to check that video. I will include it in the end. Let's start with Song of the Deep. Has been Heroes. Prototype Biohazard Bundle. The Invisible Hours. Duke Nukem 3D 20th Anniversary World Tour. The Sexy Butel Full House Edition. Project Cars Complete Edition. I also have Project Cars 2 Day 1 Edition, and this one is not GameStop exclusive, and it's only $6. Valentino Rossi, the game, Day 1 Edition, also known as MotoGP 16, and we also have MotoGP 17 here. City Skyline PS4 Edition. Constructor. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Secret of Mana, Upo Spatial Edition, Home Sweet Home, and a VR game, The Resonate. Next few games they were GameStop exclusive at one point, but not anymore. So the first one is Yonder, The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Unbox Newbies Adventure. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Next will be the Borderlands series. So we have a Borderlands Game of the Year edition. The Hanson Collection, which includes Borderlands 2 and the pre sequel. And how can we forget Tales from the Borderlands? More Telltale games. So the Walking Dead Collection. This one does not include the final season, but they are going to release one include all the season. The Wolf Among Us. Back to the Future again, this is the 30th anniversary edition. And uh, Minecraft Story Mode, the complete adventure. Since we talk about Minecraft, we also have Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition here. Next, we have Contact Dream Collection, which includes Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. And you can see two game case. Also, Until Dawn. Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Next, Infamous Second Song. I would like to see another Infamous game. The Bomber 18, I mean the Order 1886. 
Next, we have Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. For some reason, I don't like this game that much. Pray, I also have the steel book, and I kind of regret buying this game to be honest. Edo School Spy Skyrim Special Edition. Next, we have Killzone Shadowfall. I really don't like this one, and I think I'm done with Killzone series already. Bioshock the Collection. Next, we have Dying Light the Following Enhanced Edition, which includes all the DLC. Seven Days to Die. This one's pretty horrible, so don't waste your money on it. The Escapist 2. I got this one by mistake. Next, let's check some Rockstar games. The first one is GTA 5, my first PS4 game. LA Noir and uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 Special Edition. This is a great game, but I still prefer GTA more. Next, I want to show you my Sodesco collection. I stopped collecting their games since last year because the quality of their games is not so great. So let's just quickly go over it. So the first one is War to the West. Rogue Stormers. Shiny. Tricky Towers. I got this one really cheap. A Black Hole Complete Edition. Tokitori 2 Plus. IUS Veronic Deluxe Edition Area Collector's Edition This game is super glitchy Earthlock Festival of Magic One of few good games from Sodesco Tower of Guns Special Edition The Girl and the Robot Deluxe Edition uh, An Yao Nero so this game is also super glitchy. Adam's Venture Origins. Couple of the Venture Time game, Finn and Jack Investigations, and uh, Pirates of the Ink Radiant. So this one is point and click adventure game. This one is a RPG. Couple of Scrabble Nuts games here. Showdown, this is a party game. And Mega Pack, which includes two games. Next, let's check some hunting games. We want to start with Dark Dynasty. I just played on this game again on PS3 recently. I will say it's not as bad as most people said, especially if you can find one less than $10. It's still worth to play. Deer Hunter Reloaded. I actually played on this game and it's an awful experience, so definitely don't waste your money on it. Hunting Simulator. Big Bug Hunter Arcade. So after those years, they still do not fix the glitch trophy. So if you are a trophy hunter, definitely avoid this game. Next, we have Legendary Fishing. I play now again, and I will say if you want a good fishing game, just pick up Far Cry 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2. America's Greatest Game Shows, We Are Fortune and Jeopardy. Puyo Puyo Tetris. Hidden Agenda, the only play link game I have. Bridge Constructor Portal, which also includes Bridge Constructor and Bridge Constructor Stones. Pass Cure. The Dwarves. The Banner Saga Trilogy, bonus edition, which includes three games, also a soundtrack and a book. Just Cast 3, uh, the game is still sealed, but I actually play on the game with all the DLC trophies since I actually own a digital copy. I will say this is a very fun open world game, I really enjoy it. God Eater 2, Rage Burst, since it's a day one edition, also include Resurrection. Tokiden 2, Bulletstone Book Clip Edition, I think this game is kind of underrated. I am very close to playing on the game. I hope I can finish this year. Wild Guns Reloaded. A Korean horror game, White Day. Next, Lux Quest. So there are some glitch trophies in this game, so you will not be able to play on it. And I'm not even sure if they are going to fix it or not. Here we have Sense Row 4, Reelect and Get Out of Hell. I should play on both scan already. And Agents of Mayhem, Day 1 Edition. 
Kumaya Omega No Man's Sky so yet it's ten dollars only and that's the only reason I pick this one up Super Bumberman R Shining Edition Deep Blob and I'm also looking to get a second one Sticks Shards of Darkness Troll and I Alex and I heard again it's pretty bad Extinction Deluxe Edition Mirror's Age Catalyst uh, I got this one really cheap actually and Mass Effect Andromeda Deluxe Edition I think I only spent like five dollars for this game Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 plus 3 games from arcade game series I actually play now all 3 already but do not even touch Championship Edition 2 yet Bobsy the Wooly Shrek Back Perfect Edition. I remember I should have peeled it again, and that's a huge mistake. Overcooked Gourmet Edition, very fun local co op game. Rocket Lee Ultimate Edition. Assault Suit Linos. Earth Defense Force 4.1. Deception 4 The Nightmare Princess. Earth Down Dragon's Crown Pro and yeah, it's very cool steel book edition. Next let's check some simulation game. So we have Industrial Giant 2 here. So the gameplay for this one is kinda of old so I don't recommend. Evan Colony Railway Empire Mod Runner. I might get a complete edition for this one. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sounds, a fantastic puzzle game. Abzu, this game is beautiful. Shakfu, A Legend Reborn. Quiola Scoot. Tear Away on Ford Craft Edition. And we have a poker game here, World Poker Championship. Next we have the Technomancer, a very strange title. And yes, it's only $10, that's why I picked this one up. Middle Gear Solid 5, the definitive experience. Zone of the Enders, the second runner Mars. Next we have Air Conflicts Double Pack, which includes a couple games. Heavy Fire Red Shadow. Shadow Tactics. Next, let's check my complete Dishonor collection. So we have Dishonor Definitive Edition, Dishonor Days of the Outsider, and of course Dishonor 2 Limited Edition from Base Buy. Next, let's check some fighting games. We have Dead or Alive 5 Last Round. I don't think I will buy 6 on PS4, I will wait a lot less round on PS5. King of Fighters 14, this is a steelbook edition. So Caliber 6. Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. More fighting games. Nitro Plus Blasters. This is one of few fighting games I actually gotta play now. Tekken 7, I also have a steel book here. I also play now this one. Couple old star fighting game, J Stars Victory VS Plus, and the Warriors All Stars. Now let's check some farming simulation type game. So farming simulator 15 limited edition. We also have 17 play now edition. We also have pure farming 2018. The game is just alright. There's definitely a room for improvement. And the real fun, the one I really don't recommend. Different kind of farming simulation game, Stardew Valley Collector's Edition, very fun game. My time at Porsche, this game is pretty new. We also have Harvest Moon Light of Hope Special Edition. I'm actually one of few people in the world playing on this game and I spent at least 150 hours. It's definitely not a fun experience. Next, let's check some racing game. Let's start with Cars 3 Driven to Win. I just played on this game recently and this is actually a kids game so I don't like it that much. 
Burnout Paradise Remastered WRC 6 Redout Lightspeed Edition Next we have NASCAR Hit 2 This is my first and will be my last NASCAR game I actually played on the game this year I think a lot of people think a NASCAR game you just hold R2 for an entire race but no, it's way more complicated than that. The race is quite a challenge, I will say. Baja Edge of Control HD. This game is super glitchy, but I'm glad I still managed to get a plane on trophy. Gravel. This is a game I play and I got a play now, but now I don't even remember what the gameplay looks like. Next, we have Ride 2, Day 1 Edition. I don't think I will pick a Ride 3 unless they do the complete edition. Let's check some motocross games. So MXGP2 and MXGP3. We also have Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game. It's similar to MXGP but different rule. Portal Knights. So they just released a DLC recently. If I knew that, I would definitely not pick this one up. Yokai Lele, such a horrible game. The control is a disaster in this game. Party Squad. Next we have The Last Guardian and The Shadow of the Colossus. For the JRPG we want to start with Atelier series. We have Sophie, Furious, and uh, Lady Ansley. The only one I play and I gotta play now is Sophie. This type of game is very time consuming so it's kind of hard to play one after another one. Couple tail skin, Tales of Listeria and uh, Basiria. Another tail scam here, Tales of Vesperia, Definitive Edition. Exist Archive. I remember the game was kind of glitchy when it first came out, but I assume they probably fixed it already. Tokyo Twilight, Ghost Hunters, Daybreak, Spatial Gigs. Mega Dimension, Neptunia V2. Star Ocean, Integrity and Facelessness, Day 1 Edition. Demon Gas 2. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Stone for Road to Boruto, which includes all the DLC. How can we forget Kingdom Hearts, the story so far, which includes everything besides Kingdom Hearts 3. More JRPG, Blue Reflection, a pretty easy game. I actually play on it. Shiny Resonance Refrain. This is a launch edition and this is actually a steel case, not a steel book. Here we have a Theorem Arc Hero School Story. I just played on this game. This is a very interesting title. It's an RPG with some mobile game elements. Also, this is a budget title, so if you have a chance, definitely give it a try. Next, we have Akiba's Trip on Dead and Undressed. Also, not really a sequel, but it's from the same developer, Akiba Speed. He also comes with a plushie. We have a couple sold out online here. Lawson, my favorite JRPG on PS4. And the Hollow Realization. Next, we have the Lost Child. Nice of Asia, not a huge fan. Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth. Omega Quint The Seven Deadly Sims And let's check some Final Fantasy So we have World of Final Fantasy Day 1 Edition Final Fantasy 12 The Rodiac Age Type 0 HD The only Final Fantasy I gotta play now And the Dissidia Final Fantasy NT Steelbook Edition I got this one really cheap But I don't think I will play it I might sell this one in the end Clodden Returns, this is Sengoku. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Horizon. Next, we have the Hack GU Last Record. Dark Rose Valkyrie. Nia Automata, Game of the Your Heart Edition. I still do not get a chance to play this game, but definitely looking to play it later this year. Next, we have Ages of Earth. Onimusha. A uh, couple Toho game here, Toho Kabuto Fight Burst Battle. This is actually a fighting game. We also have 
again so wondered this one also include double focus they also released a complete edition for Genso Wonder, but that one does not include double focus. Shemu 1 and 2 definitely looking to play the third one. Okami HD. Persona Dancing and List Night Collection, which includes three games, two on disc and P4D is a digital copy. I actually played now all three games already. They are pretty easy. Shovel Knight. Inside Limbo double pack. I like Inside but not Limbo. Legend of K Anniversary. Sonic Forces bonus edition which includes a controller skin. 88 Heroes. The Telos Principle Deluxe Edition. Bound by Flame. Ghostbusters. Metro Redux, which includes two games. This is the police. Rich and Clank, I hope they have another game on PS4. Rhyme. Cat Quest, and it's a very fun mobile game. Hellblade, this again I don't really recommend. Next, we have Paranormal Activity The Lost Soul. This game is based by Exclusive and the VR is not required anymore. Road Rage Monster Jam Crash Air. Yeah, this game is so horrible. But it's an easy play now. Next, I want to show you my LEGO game collection. First one is Jurassic World. This is the only LEGO game I got to play now on PS4. And it kind of reminds me why I hate LEGO game in the first place. Uh, this is Lego City on the cover. Marvel Superheroes. Also Lego Wars. And finally we also have the Star Wars, The Force Awakens Deluxe Edition here include the Season Pass. Ben 10, a kids game. Another kids game here, Snoopy's Grand Adventure. Yoku's Island Express. This is a pretty good 2D platform game. The Town of Light. This is a walking simulator and it has a pretty interesting story. Paw Patrol on a Roll. Stephen Universe, Save the Light, and OKKO okay Let's Play Heroes. So this is a two game in one. Ugly Duels and Imperfect Adventure. Next, let's check some visual novel on PS4. We have Punchline, Very Strange Story, Steins Gate Zero, I prefer the original Steins Gate, and uh, Relator, not a bad again. Also, Coriolis Bouquet of Rainbows. We also have Complete Zero Escape series, the Nunnery games, which includes first two games, and uh, Zero Time Dilemma includes the third games. This is a series I highly recommend. Another video novel, Chaos Child, from the same creators of Steins Gate. Next we have The Silver Case, this is a very boring video novel. I also have the 25th World limited edition here. I got this one really really cheap. Next, we have Sniper LE3 Ultimate Edition and Sniper LE4. Overwatch Game of the Year Edition. A pretty horrible zombie shooting game, Screwgirl Zombie Hunter. Mad Max. Deadpool. Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. This one should include all the DLC. Sega Genesis Classics, over 50 classic games. In my last year's collection video, there are quite a few people asked me where is God of War and here it is. I just picked this one up recently. Next, I'm going to show you my least favorite genre that is point and click adventure type game. For this type of game, there's one thing in common that is boring. The only reason I play this type of game is just for an easy play now. Let's start with Siberia 3. I just played on this game. Even after a huge patch, this game still crashed quite often. Deponia, this is actually the first game from the series. The Inner World, The Last Wind Monk, also include a prequel, and both games are very boring. 
the book of unwritten tales to actually play now this game tries for both ps4 and the ps3 next we have the raven remaster king's quiz the complete edition republic tuber brook for the remaining games they are those big box special edition so here we have axiom verge multiverse edition Next, we have Life is Strange Before the Storm Limit Edition. In no Kuni 2, this is a premium edition. I remember I got this one less than $20. Next, let's check my complete Danganronpa collection. We have 1 2 Reload, Ultra Despair Girls, and of course, Danganronpa V3. I do not get a special edition for this one, it's because it's too expensive. Next, we have Crash Bandicoot Unseen Trilogy. This is a sock bundle pack. Uh, this one was originally GameStop exclusive, but later on you can actually find it on Amazon. And there's really nothing special for this pack. They just include a pair of socks. Another Toho game. This is a Toho Genso Rondo Bully Ballet. We have Kapo Yuta Warrior Mono Launch Edition here. So this one is a Mask of Deception. And this is a mask of truth. There are a couple more from the series will be released in the near future. Next we have the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince Limited Edition, also known as Storybook Edition. Shantae Health Genie Health Hero Rescue Beats Edition. Yamawori Midnight Shadow Limited Edition. We also have Birthday the Beginning. Anima Get of Memories. The only way to own a physical copy on PS4 is buying this special edition. Deformers. So this is another GameStop exclusive title and the server is shut down already. Here we have Fed Xtella Noble Fantasy Edition. Next we have Onichibara Z2 Chaos. This is a banana split edition. And I actually heard there will be a new game coming out from the series. I am kind of surprised. Next let's check my Senran Kakura collection. So first we have Estevo vs. And the Water Gun one. And also the latest one. This is a Burst Renewal. And this is the one has censorship. More to go. Here we have a fighting game, Blaze Blue Central Fiction Limited Edition. Next we have Little Nightmares 6th Edition. Next we have Valkyria Chronicles 4. This is a premium edition, really huge box. And uh, also have the Valkyria Chronicles Remastered Steelbook Edition. And the Valkyria Revolution. And this one does not sell too well. Another game from Sodesco, Our Boy Limited Edition. Another fighting game here. This is pretty huge box. This is SNK Heroines Tech Team Frenzy. And the only way to own a physical copy on PS4 in North America is buying this special edition. Next we have Mafia 3 Collector's Edition. Another really huge box. And you can get this one really cheap actually. The last, not the least, Wooden Spear Storybook Edition. Really nice game. I actually played on it. This is my entire PS4 collection. There are 357 games. That means I added around 100 games into my collection in past year. For digital games, I have around 16. I mean, very rare I purchase digital games. I think that's it for this video. If you have any question or concern, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more unboxing in the future.